tension in strings vector applications an object is hanging from two ropes one rope has a tension of 200 newtons and makes an angle of 50 degrees with the ceiling the other rope makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ceiling so here we have this ceiling here and these are the two ropes one makes an angle of 50 degrees which has tension of 200 newtons the other one makes an angle of 40 degrees so the other rope makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ceiling calculate the tension in the second rope so we need to find the tension in the second rope and second part is calculate the weight of the object which is hanging here correct so that is what we need to figure out now to find the answer for this what we can do is we can apply sine law consider this triangle in this triangle we know two angles so third is also known to us right so third will be the total is 180 50 plus 40 is 90 so the third angle is actually 90 degrees so we'll write 90 degrees here correct now in this triangle we know one side is 200 so well this is a 90 degrees angle so we need not even start with sine law correct we can find straight since that becomes the hypotenuse correct so So now we'll use the sine law to calculate. So as you notice here, we have a triangle which has a combination of angle with known side, opposite side. So therefore, we can use sine law and find the tension in the other string. So we can say T2 over sine of 50 degrees. Is equal to 200 over sine of 40 degrees correct and from here we can calculate what T2 is so we get T2 equals to 200 times sine of 50 degrees divided by sine of 40 degrees right so we can use the calculator and then find the answer so it is 200 times sine of 50 divided by sine of 40 so we get 238.35 so 238.35 so I'm rounding it to 0.4 so that is T2 in Newtons, right? So we get our force T2 in Newtons, correct? Now, the second part of this question is calculate the weight of the object. Now, as you can see, if I resolve this force T1 and T2, this T1 is acting upwards and T2 on the left side and T2 is towards this side, I can resolve them into components, correct? So T1 can be resolved as this is T1 as a component along horizontal and as vertical, correct? Similarly, T2 can be resolved with a component along horizontal and a component along vertical, correct? If they are in equilibrium, then these two components will be same. The horizontal components will cancel out, correct? but the vertical components will add up right so weight will actually neutralize or the object is in equilibrium that means weight is a force towards downward which is equal to sum of the vertical components going up right so therefore we can write weight as equal to how much is this component going up if you see T1, let me just make a triangle, a right triangle, okay? 
this is 50 degrees. So the horizontal component will be 200 cos of 50 and the vertical component is 200 sine of 50, correct? So that is the upward component because of tension 1. So we'll write this as 200 sine of 50 degrees plus let me make a right triangle here also. Now the vertical component for T2 will be this vertical component which is sine of 40, correct? So T2 is 238.4, so it will be 238.4 times sine of 40 degrees. Do you understand that? T2 we calculate is equal to 238.4 newtons, correct? So we utilized the components of T1 and T2 to figure out what W, the weight of the object should be, right? And now we can use our calculator and find the answer. So we have 200 sine of 50 plus 238.4 sine of 40 and that gives us 306.4. Okay. So that becomes our answer for this question. Newtons acting upwards. So, so weight is taking care of that upward force and weight will always be acting downwards. So weight is so many newtons acting downwards. Correct? So that is how we can find the weight of the object in this particular case. I hope you understand how we have solved this question. So part one of the question is to find tension in the other string which we did using sine law and part two to find the weight we figured out what should be the component of these tensions upward component those will be balanced out or those will be balancing out the weight, right? And those are sine components of these tensions. 200 sine of 50 degrees and 238.4 sine of 40 degrees when added together is equal to the weight of the object. And we got that to be 306. So you could write this answer as 306 newtons, right? As your answer. Thank you.